Hello and welcome to this OrthoMill 2016 new feature guide where I'm going to be going through how to assign multiple machining templates to a single workpiece or project. Now you might want to utilize this when machining multiple orthotics from the same workpiece or perhaps if you want to cut the shape of an orthotic using one toolpath type and then use a separate method to cut the part out completely from the stock. So at the moment I've just started a new part setup and I've imported a left and right insole. So I'm going to select both of these and add them to the workpiece and I've got my machining template that I want selected which is EVA out to in. And when used this is going to create a sort of offset toolpath. So using the shape of the insole cutting from the outside to the inside. And now what I can do with those two parts nested in there I can select a different toolpath type, for example the raster, and I'm now going to add the same insoles again. So these two should be cut using the out to in toolpath and these two should be cut using the raster toolpath. Now what I've also done is I've used a new function in my workpiece definitions tool to define that my insoles will be at the bottom of my workpiece and also by default there will be zero tabs and you can learn more about this in another new features video. And I'm happy with everything here at the moment so I'm just going to OK what I've got. Before machining anything, in order to prevent unnecessary air moves, or if your machine tool has a turntable unnecessary movement of the block, you should go to Tools and Options and the Options form will open. Within the Orthomill tab, down here there's an option which says Table Definition Toolpath Grouping Options. And the recommended setting for toolpath efficiency in this case is group similar toolpaths. Once you've selected this, just click OK on the form. And I'll just quickly calculate the toolpath that I have, my NC data. And this may take slightly longer than what you're used to because it has more types of toolpaths to calculate. But just keep an eye on this toolbar at the bottom. And as long as the bar's moving, you should know that it's still calculating. So just be patient and your toolpaths should be calculated quickly enough. As a quick disclaimer, especially because of the changes you've made to the default toolpath options, you should always check your toolpaths thoroughly before running them on an actual machine. And now mine are calculated, I'll hop into a simulation. And I'll immediately simulate all of the toolpaths one after the other. So I've got my profile cut and then you can see that the tool is cutting from the outside to the inside of the shape. And after the cutouts, the second two are being machined. And now I've got my raster toolpath cutting horizontally across the insole. So in this way, I've got my two separate types of toolpath within the same workpiece. Thank you for watching this OrthoMill guide. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you again soon.